Hi, welcome to Level Up. I'm Martina and today I'm going to show you how to use and create hyperlinks in your PowerPoint to achieve fully interactive file. First, what is that hyperlink? In general, it's a clickable path to another location. Those links can also start programs, open websites or send emails. Today we will focus on the basics of the hyperlink menu and action buttons. Let me show you the file I'll use today. This page represents a dashboard with three navigation elements, ribbon with icons, overview and clickable pictures. I already added some links to those pictures, so when I hover over any of them, you will see this small pop-up window with some instruction. We can add those steps so the viewer knows what will happen after clicking on that object. Let's start with the book picture. I right-click on it and select hyperlink. In this pop-up window on the top, we have option text to display, but we will use it only when we add the link to the text. Then on the right, we have screen tips. That's the place where you can add those instructions. So let's click on it, type link to about. Now let's go back to the main window and we will choose which kind of hyperlink we want to have. Open document or website, go to the place in this document create a new document or maybe send an email. I'll select place in this document, then select slide one and OK. It's time to create a button on the left side panel. We have two options with slightly different results. First, set a link for both the text and icon or create a single invisible box above both of them. If you want to attach a link to the icon, it has to be one solid shape. It will now work with grouped objects. You can insert Microsoft Drawing object here in the Insert tab, or you can draw shapes and use Merge Shapes tool to combine them all. Secondly, if we add link to the text, then it changes its appearance. Let's see how it works. Right-click on the text box, select Hyperlink, and place in this document, I'll select Slide 3. See, not the best result. I'll undo that. Let's talk about the other option. We will create an invisible button on top of icon and text together. In PowerPoint, you have a lot of already built-in action buttons. Go to the Home tab and in the Drawing group, click on the More button to see all the shapes. On the very bottom, you will find Action Buttons group. Every each of them has applied function. For example, the one with the house icon will take you to the first slide. But this time, we want to add our own action. Select the last shape and draw it over those two objects. Great! When you release the mouse, this window will pop up. We have two options how to activate the link, and it could be with mouse click or when the mouse is over the button. The second one could be a little chaotic and tricky because it will trigger automatically when your mouse is above the button. So we will use mouse click tab. Then select Hyperlink 2 and slide 1. You can also add a sound that will be played. Now let's click OK and we need to make it invisible. So select No Fill and No Outline. Done. Great thing is that to get more buttons, you can just easily copy paste them and they will already have the action applied. All you have to do is adjust the destination slide in the link. So right click edit hyperlink and select different number of slide. Great, let's see if it worked. Click on the reading view and I'll click on our link. Nice! To make this smooth transition, select Morph and Transition tab. Now we want to create a button to go back to the dashboard slide. Let's copy this button and go to the next slide and paste it back. I'll move it here and adjust the size a little bit to cover all those shapes and text. Now right click on it, select edit hyperlink or you can use a shortcut Control k Then change the option to go to the first slide. But what if you would want to add action to any other object, not the one that is built in PowerPoint? Just select the object that you want to add an action to, go to the insert tab and click action. You already know this window, right? Just select the action you prefer and maybe even add the sound. <laughs> Done! You can completely transform your presentation by using hyperlinks. 
It makes the file more interesting and engaging. And the most important thing, after converting the PPT to PDF, you will still have all those hyperlinks attached. In the next videos, we will show you other great tricks of how to use hyperlinks to achieve great results. Okay, see you next week!